day. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hello. Welcome into um, another I feel like one. I'm of our... total, totally taking over. Are you? I just like being close to oh, you. Okay. okay. We yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> <it. laughs> okay. So what were you saying? Um, welcome to our another or second live cheer chat. Um, so we have another yes. awesome episode coming at you guys this Wednesday. Yes. Who are we interviewing? Derek, the only, one and only Derek Whitfield from the Washington Wizards. He, I mean, you guys, waiting till Wednesday was really hard. We talked to him in August, okay? And he just blessed our lives with I mean, somebody said, I can't wait to hear the word, but like, I sound like I'm in church, it's Sunday. But <laughs> he was just so informative, had so many awesome things to say and just perspective based on his time with the Wizards and his time as a male dancer. And so there's just so much there that we cannot wait to share with you, it's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> and congratulations to the Seahawks, they won today. Thank God, man. I didn't get to watch the game, I was at work, but um, they had it up on our screens, and so I was able to oh, watch nice. a little bit That's and cool. see that they pulled the W. Thank goodness. Yeah. And happy game day to everybody. Obviously, I was trying to look for people on the sidelines, but we're so happy it's football season. At least I am. Totally. Yay. Woo, says someone that I can't <laughs> read. <laughs> no, Hi, we're super everyone. excited. Obviously, sort of still nervous. We're trying to get used to this, but bear with us. Uh, what is the name of this episode? We just decided, not gonna lie, but we're gonna call it Bounce Back by Little Mix. Um, yes. And it was just, it doesn't really relate to the episode at all, but to Except me- Except he called it out as one of his favorite songs that he's done. True, doing. true. And it's but, just as like high energy and just totally encompasses what he's about in terms of his choreography and just how awesome yes. and bubbly and friendly he is. So we like, love Derek. I can see, I can already envision what he would make up to that song because his choreography is crazy. If you guys don't know, please just go to the Wizards page or go to his page um, on Instagram and you'll see how crazy his choreography and how fun it is. And so he would put us onto the song way back in August, early August. So um, here it is. That's what the episode title is. Yeah, it's so, so fun making that up. <laughs> Sorry. No, Hi. Fine. We definitely edit a lot, so like doing these live things is like a little stressful, and like I'm sweating. Are you sweating? I should have taken this off. Matter of fact, I'll look like I'm stripping. But ooh, oh, Makifa. <laughs> but yes, for the sake of my pits, here we go. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I know I can't give up summer. I'm like wearing tropical. I'm wearing like flip flops and like my denim jacket. Like I, I'm holding on to yeah. the last little bit that is summer. I'm, I'm summer. I'm I, so sad that it's just like over already. Seattle's on that BS, you guys. It is raining. We have thunderstorms. Like, it's just not. Yeah, it's a little crazy. It's over. It's really over. <laughs> um, but yes, let's just kick it off with your chat. All right. So a little concerning and upsetting. Um, usually Makiva is the one that finds these articles and she's sending to me and like, girl, can you believe what they're saying? Mm -hmm. Read this article. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I read it. Sometimes I don't. But you don't read the articles, <laughs> just because like ugh, I already know it. Like I'll read it oh, like okay. a paragraph, and I'm just like I don't even want that negativity in my life right now. Okay. And then Makiba goes attack mode. But I did that. She's like training me to be like this little pit bull that's just like rah, 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 like trying Brittany to take everybody went down. Hard in the paint, you guys. I was so proud. I did. I scrolled to the bottom of this article. Um, it's by Sharon Grisby. Um, is this the title? This is the title. Okay. Dallas Cowboys, let us get real about your outdated cheerleaders and the giant video board that exploits them. They are a 20th century throwback dragged into a new era that doesn't want or need them. And so I was really drawn into this article and she basically goes in about how she was at a game and she felt like she saw some gentlemen, I don't know what ages they were, but Basically, gentlemen, they're not gentlemen. Okay, but boys, 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 right? Or men yeah. who were like filming the jumbo screen and like zooming in on the ladies, you know, private parts and like laughing. And one guy kept taking photos and zooming into certain areas and was like showing his friends. And of course, that was distracting to her. But I felt like the article kind of blamed the women. Yes, it totally did. Yeah, and and she was just talking about all this crazy stuff and how why are they still around? Um, mm hmm that they were pelvic thrusting and shimmying, chest message. jiggled and their bottoms were up and their long hair was sweeping the ground. Like she was just so extra with the attacking the women. And I thought maybe her point was just that, okay, hey, Dallas Cowboys management, if you're putting this on this 60 foot yard jumbotron and that's 
really it's so zoomed in on the girls that that's really the focus is what their bodies are doing in those uniforms okay to some extent okay and i think Brittany, I, I mentioned it like we should have a whole entire episode dedicated to just truth behind the palms like really what it means to be sexy as a cheerleader how we feel about that should we be unapologetic that's my vote but you know just maybe how we are portrayed and if we how we really feel about it and that will require some definite like input from you guys like what do you think because that was the only line that i was like okay point taken like if that's what is on the jumbo train jumbo train <laughs> jumbo tron <laughs> jumbo screen then you're going to get that kind of idiotic reaction but it doesn't mean that we should be doing anything different the ladies should not be doing anything different yeah and that's her word i mean we don't know if they were just scanning across and maybe were zoomed in too far on a girl and then zoomed it out i mean we've seen the camera guys we're friends with some of the camera guys i we flirt know with the them. camera all the time yeah, so see? for me it's nothing right exactly but um, I scrolled down to the very bottom and tried to find her social media, and I totally blew up her Facebook page. Get it, Brit? Yeah, and I was shocked, <laughs> like, at the support. I just thought at the beginning of this and when things were popping off with articles, um, I felt like there was kind of a neutral, oh. like, fight, or, like, people would be in there saying, oh, I agree with this article, or just saying ignorant stuff. Actually, you're right. I was shocked that there were so many people who were disagreeing with this woman because a year ago, trust, we did a whole scan for our We're Not Gonna Take It episode where we like looked at all the horrible articles wanting us to be banned as cheerleaders. And, you know, there were plenty of people who just went all in misogynistic comments and, you know, really, really, there was nothing like that. There were more people no. who were disagreeing with her, but I was super proud to see your yeah. name. Yeah, like, yes. <laughs> Um, so I totally, you know, said my two cents and people I felt like came to my support. Um, one thing though that I kind of wanted to point out was there was a, a woman on there commenting about how, you know, you didn't even know that basically the uniform's been submitted to the Smithsonian mm -hmm. Institute and, you know, they are a coveted and respected form of, you know, dancing and cheerleading, what have you. And it just was disappointing because... Sharon does mention that in the article and so I felt like Sharon commented to that lady and was like actually you didn't read my article because, oh, because I, I did mention it and so I just kind of felt like man if only like people were fighting the good fight with us kind of did their research as well because if we come in informed and can back up what we're saying I mean I'm not blasting that lady but I just thought I'm like dang if only she kind of did read the article See, that's why you have to read the article you have too. to read the article <laughs> But it's true though, like we, you know, and of course that woman's gonna come in and de defend the one comment, right? That's like, exactly. that she actually has a defense for. Like I actually did say that, but she seemed, I didn't see any comments from her throughout the comments the last time that I looked. Like mm -hmm. she's not defending her stuff at all. And then you guys, uh oh, Paige Skinner, if you guys don't know who Paige Skinner is, she's a, a really talented writer. She did the article for Time Magazine and she came back hard with the clap back article. Like, she said everything that I would have, well, Brittany even said everything that I would have wanted to say, but just seeing her quickly respond and get that stuff up there, her article heading was, despite the Dallas Morning News column, there is a place for the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. Sounds neutral and stuff, but then she just goes hard in the paint with the analogies and everything. But the woman had pointed out, like, girls in the stands are wearing, you know, Dak Prescott's jersey, Jason Witten jerseys. They're not wearing sparkly fringe costumes, which was so ignorant because we all know that the DCC has, like, the craziest junior program. And there's tons of little girls, 1,200, I think, um, from Paige's article that participated in the program. So she's full of crap on that one. Yes, they do want to be us, okay? And they are looking up to us. And then the lady said something about, um, you know, just really pointing out that women have different roles in sports now and like, why should we be on the sidelines cheering for men? But Paige really represented and she's like, you know, that women, not all women go to school for business or, you know, journalism. You know, some women prepare their whole entire lives through dance to be a pro cheerleader. So she just really had the awesome sarcastic tone that I love so much <laughs> <laughs> that basically just called this woman out and my favorite part was the analogy to um, gymnasts in terms of the attire that they wear it's sparkly it's form-fitting and she said if men were behaving poorly at these gymnastic events by scrolling into the woman's crotches or breasts like would you attack the gymnast or would you actually write an article addressing the men's behavior and she pointed out like you unfairly blame the women and I just think that I just love how quick she was with it and 
getting those articles published, repping the pro cheerleaders and really calling it like it is. Go Paige. Yeah, she came through on that for sure. Yes. She made a few more comparisons like, you know, like professional swimmers wearing the Speedo, like mm -hmm. how dare he exploit himself. Just if someone took a close-up photo of a certain area, like how is that his no, problem or fault? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I would not do that. I've never watched swimming and zoomed in on Speedo crotches. But it's just more representative of like the person taking that photo. Right. But it shouldn't be the blame of the person who kind of is the victim of somebody taking advantage of our like smartphones and technology. Exactly. That's not our problem. Um, but, and, if it, and if it's happening yeah. at games, that's something that, you know, unless they're going to modify the tickets to say that that can get you kicked out of the stadium, I mean, you're going to have Jack behind. I'm not cursing this episode, you guys. <laughs> I want it nice and clean for Derek's interview. No, I'm kidding. But, um, but I think, you know, unless you're going to actually kick them out or address their behavior, then, I mean, there's not, don't put it on us, okay? That men don't know how to contain themselves. Like, that's the whole, like, part of me, too. Like, you can't have that as an excuse to behave poorly and objectify women, assault women, harass women just because of any reason, really. There's no justification, period, point blank, in a story. Yeah. Okay, but Moving we on. are linking those <laughs> articles below. I mean, we don't want this woman to get any more clicks and attention, but read it and then read pages because it's way better. Yeah, and go attack on her Facebook page. Yes. You're going to see all the support. It's, it was really uplifting to see people come together and kind of blast her in a negative light instead yeah. of praise her article and I was excited to see that exactly so. and the people who agreed with her often look a lot like her yeah. middle-aged older lady that looks like she doesn't have very much fun with her life true I'm not gonna attack her looks like a lot of people did but the comments are a little juicy go check them out yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right what else Akiva so I was excited to see on the Detroit Pistons uh, Twitter page that uh, their director, Natalie, she was kind of explaining that six years ago that they started out with the co-ed dance team. And I think recently with this year, they decided to bring back the individual teams because she said that while they enjoyed doing that, um, it took away from the passion and individuality of each team. And so they returned to having the individual teams that like come together and collaborate for like halftime performances. And I just thought maybe that's kind of other teams are catching on to this a little late and going co-ed and then they're going to realize that maybe to some extent you're stifling the creativity of having the team separated because you know the girls want to be girls they want to do girly sassy totally feminine type stuff because we're women you know and maybe the guys are like sacrificing a little bit of their style if you will by trying to do routines that are like geared towards both like i don't know so i thought maybe them discovering that they the best way that they can entertain their fans is by having separate performances really was somewhat encouraging for me. I mean, I think I think that's the right direction, but I think that's what's so cool about this interview with Derek is that we're going to see how he's making it work and you know, we'll s still to be t determined like how the, it's landing on the fans. That was their first season last year um, being co-ed with the Washington Wizards, but just something to keep an eye on. Maybe it's going to like come full circle. Maybe they'll realize that these entertainment teams and co-ed thing is just an experiment that's gonna maybe not work we'll see yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> and before the interview um one more thing we wanted to talk about is another article that was put out it's a it's, feel good one yeah it's so cute it's the secret to a long happy and healthy life is cheerleading um importance of dancing at any age and basically just kind of leads into Derek's involvement with the Wisdom, which mm -hmm. is their 55 plus year old dance team. Yes. Um, we got to see them perform and they like killed it and were so awesome. I can't believe that Derek manages like so many different teams um, with the Wizards, but um, yeah. the article is basically outlining how depressing it is to work a nine to five and then move into retirement and maybe like you don't have much going oh, on. Seriously, thank you so much uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> technical difficulties <laughs> jinx <laughs> how did and that I have happen a new computer. hold please a new computer you guys who has apple <laughs> she's awkward i'm sweating oh my gosh how is everybody <laughs> thanks distracting brit <laughs> so da 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 um, <laughs> this is what happens when you try to go live. Okay, hold please. We are just um, 
going to figure some stuff out here. There we go. We've just been chatting a little too much, and then we bumped into uh, Derek's interview. <laughs> but uh, this is why we, you know, you try something new and then whoop de doo There you go. Okay. Ready? We're going to act like that didn't happen. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So which were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Basically that, um, you know, after you retire or you're working a nine to five and it's just like, seriously, I hate to say it, but like Mondays are such a drag. So um, when I was on the team looking forward to practice after even a long day of working, but just being able to dance at the end of the day was like super powerful and I got like that surge of extra energy and so this article was just basically about yeah. um, some 55 plus people who basically created and are in like a dance team cheerleading mm -hmm. acrobatic um, they were situation. just so cute I mean just the fact that they were able to have like address the loneliness that you feel probably as you age and now have a community of sisters that they get to see I mean just the light up in their faces and the article and the pictures was just so 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 touching so we wanted to share that with you and just again kudos to the wizards organization for giving opportunities to um older people to dance i think it's amazing that's what i'll be doing okay there we go <laughs> before we run out of time i just think this is a fun experiment for us i mean we're trying to be present for you guys and we really want to be able to see like oh there he is what? That's Eric. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, we're we talking almost, about you. We're trying not to botch up our interview recording over it, but um, <laughs> we just think it is really cool to give opportunities to people of all ages to dance, people of all genders to dance, and so we're going to lead into how Derek makes it work with the Wizards, and we can't wait to share this episode with you guys, like for real. It's so good. So freaking good. Okay. I think that's it. I think it is it. We will look at your messages and make sure we didn't miss anything, and we're going to fix our little recording situation, and then maybe we'll address some of your comments. So the whole point of this, too, is for you guys to interact with us. So if there's something you want us to talk about for Chair Chat that we did not catch, put it on the little thing of a bobber, and then we will bring it up. Yeah. Thanks okay. for joining us, Thank and this you. will be up for 24 hours, right? So if you yes. want to rewatch it for some <laughs> odd reason, I don't know if you want to make fun of our, you know, technical difficulty. No, I'm no, just please don't. Be nice. Yeah. <laughs> We're learning. Okay. Have a great Sunday. Yay. Bye. Enjoy the rest of your week.